you're becoming as reliable as the dawn. Imhotep arrived a short while ago. He was quite impressed with his gallant rescuer. Oh, I could kiss your striking visage repeatedly. Thankfully, Imhotep was still in one piece. <sighs> Please excuse the mess. Most of the important books and scrolls in the city were seized and stored here. It's become our library and our sanctum. The Pontifex Charmion, a spiritual leader here for many years. She was once very wise, but she's lost her way. Unfortunately, New Corsica has suffered under her guidance. Guard your words carefully in her presence. He's recovering from his ordeal. Although relatively unharmed, it had a greater impact on him than he was willing to say. He's taking restorative elixirs to help him focus his mind. I've never seen him so troubled. Honestly, it scares me. Oh, he wanted you to consult a scroll. He said it would shed light on our current situation. It's just there on the table. The gods summoned us from the old world, calling us to paradise, the undying land. They promised life eternal. The divine ancients shared their wisdom, directing us to build great temples to house their wonders. The works of my people shone like a jewel in this new world, but madness erupted throughout the land igniting a terrible war. Our great works were laid to waste. When the fires cooled, the ancients had vanished, leaving behind only ruins and a doomed race of immortal soldiers guarding empty temples. But we were determined to endure. In the absence of the ancients, we became the masters of our own destiny. We battled the primordial beings birthed by the Cataclysm and discovered immortality became a curse. Death had not been banished, only transformed. Even the madness returned to plague us anew. In the end, the ancient's promises had been nothing but lies. I pray they've not blinded us to the terror stirring beneath the sands. Ah, my skilled and cunning rescuer. Ghazi has regaled me with accounts of your valorous deeds. I found them most engaging. Have you read the scroll? Hmm, I would imagine so, but I'm afraid those must wait for now. There is grim work ahead and much to do. As Ghazi noted, the angry earth has not been a significant force here for hundreds of years. Their fearsome presence has multiplied by a significant factor recently. That never happens by chance. A most excellent question. It's one I have no answer for yet. But while captive, I saw them take a seed from the Azoth tree and feed it vast quantities of life energy. An excellent guess. But why? Hmm. I doubt it means something salubrious for humanity. They carry the seed away to parts unknown. However, it will require a steady source of water. That's rare in a desert. Oh, yes! Excellently reasoned! The Oasis Spontanea would provide such an aqueous bounty. Go there and investigate. We will meet you at the Great Shrine of Thoth. Together, we will solve this conundrum.
New Corsica welcomes you, Pedro. You wish an audience with a blessed Pontifex Charmy. You must meditate on the wisdom of the sacred scroll of awakening. It will reveal the truth of what afflicts this land. It must be made known to all who enter here. Go to the sacred scroll, embrace its wisdom. It will place you on the path to enlightenment. Once you have done so, the Pontifex would acknowledge you as a seeker of truth. She can be very generous to seekers. Go forth and seek. We set out to find the Field of Reeds, the blessed home of the gods. Carrying our dying queen, our only hope lay in finding the gift of immortality. We expected to discover divine power, a paradise blessed by the Nine. But we found only ruins and devastation, the obvious result of divine wrath. Having failed our queen, her body was consigned to the desert. But we would not be defeated. Allied with the might of Rome, we would succeed where our ancestors had failed. Like mighty Perseus or Achilles, General Crassus became our greatest champion. Together, our works inspired the people and brought order to the chaos. We would honor the gods and bring about an age of enlightenment. But greed and ambition poisoned the minds of our stewards. The Romans coveted the power of the gods, and our protectors became our oppressors. The gods punished them for their arrogance. The curse of Medusa would imprison the unfaithful for centuries. The faithful would have to prove ourselves worthy before the gods would return. But the plague of evil can never be vanquished, and it corrupts everything it touches. Now, we pray that the gods will send new champions to vanquish the darkness and find light in the shadows of our past. Speak to the Pontifex. You will benefit from her wisdom. New Corsica has lost its way. We have displeased the gods, and now evil sweeps over these lands, led by a terrible demon. General Crassus curse his name. Once trusted with our defense and considered a hero, he and his legionaries now ravage the land as bloodthirsty corrupted. May Artum strip the flesh from his bones. Have the gods sent you? Let me look upon you. Yes, praise Osiris. I can see it. Go to the jagged ridge. My acolyte Nuru seeks the gods' protection there. Aid her however you can. New Corsica needs you. New Corsica, ancient bastion of knowledge and hidden secrets. I find this place suits me, though I wish travel by spirit shrines wasn't so nauseating. <laughs> Around here, one could blindly throw a stone and hit something interesting. Since you asked, are you eager 
to help me unravel one of the ancients' secrets? Hmm? Their language. You may have seen glyphs carved into ruins all over this region. I suspect that those glyphs are part of the ancients' language. Go see one for yourself. Even knowing the glyph grants mystic power. Praise the gods. I've been desperate to send word to New Corsica. The Praetorians assigned to this camp are missing, and I couldn't abandon this post. These Praetorians were to guard the roads so citizens could evacuate the city. We'd received troubling reports of bandits, so I was dispatched to check on their status. I found their camp abandoned, and no sign of any of them. Praetorians of New Corsica? Never! But our enemies have left hordes of lost in their wake. I fear my Praetorians may have joined their soulless ranks. A most noble offer, friend. <laughs> Normally, I would never accept such help from a non-Praetorian. If you find them and they've become lost, I implore you to put them to rest and return their insignias to me.